So we're going to start on this. This is G minor. And we're going to use one flat. Then we go to B minor. And here we're going to use three sharps. So back to one flat. three sharps. So this is different what we did earlier today because we were always just working in one tonality. So you can go after me if you want. So we're going to G to G. So you can play that. Then we're going to voice lead, go to G sharp. Three sharps from G sharp. Now we go from A. One flat from A to A. Then A to A, three sharps. Now I'm going to do uh, two occurrences. So we're going to go from B flat, C, C sharp. Down from B natural. B flat. A. G sharp. F sharp. So the way I would do this is I would either just look at the key signature, <laughs> you know, one flat, and then look at the key signature with three sharps and try to do it that way, or I might write both of the scales out. I'm going to give you another example of how we can do this. Um, so we're going to take a pattern. Um, yeah, we're going to do one, three, five, seven. So it's going to be like this. A. B flat. C. Then we keep going to C sharp right there, okay? Here we go on G. A, B flat, C, C sharp. And then you can see how you can go with that ad infinitum. So I'd love for you to just try a little bit of that. I'll give you a couple more examples so you can see how I work on it, but then I just want you to work on it. So some, hopefully you can hear it. Oh, look at those. You 
know, or, um, you know, um, it could be any kind of pattern you want and whatever tempo works for you. And then eventually what we're working towards is to play more organically over both of those progressions and make that, that transition smooth. So I'm gonna let you just work on it for a sec. One, two, ready, go. I want to talk about the pentatonic approach on this one. When I was listening to this, what 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 sounded to me like it worked the most natural was over the G minor chord, this one, that you use D minor pentatonic, D minor. There's other ones you could use. You could use A minor and you could use G minor. But a D minor sounded to me like the one that I would be used to hearing or expect to hear. And then on the next one, on the on the B minor chord, I would probably use F sharp minor, I think. Yeah. So let's see what that sounds like. Uh, you can play after me. I'm going to do lines from D minor pentatonic and then F sharp minor pentatonic. We'll see if we like those sounds, okay? different pentatonics. You might make it feel better than I am right now. <laughs> So see if you can do that on your own now. Uh, and Yeah, and some of the lines I played were, were not really happening. 
maybe partly because I'm trying to demonstrate or I'm trying to make, you know, I don't know, you know, but, um, you know, it needs to feel good, you know, all that stuff because it's, uh, it's coming out of blues, right? So um, D minor pentatonic, F sharp minor pentatonic. See if you can work on that on your own and see how you like those colors. One, two, ready. D minor pentatonic. F sharp minor pentatonic. F sharp minor. 